Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? Sure, Kyoko, what's up? Oh, by the way, hi guys, it's Hedgy, and we're back with some more Danganronpa. The last episode, we had to say goodbye to Leon. Because he killed Sayaka and got caught. The two I actually connected with are now both dead. Great. What's up, Makoto? Or Kyoko, rather. She moved in close and whispered into my ear. Makoto. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. Oh? What's that? It's about Sayaka, isn't it? Isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. What? I am Sayaka. No, I'm kidding. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka be betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming an easy target like that. It's true. Sayaka meant to double cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even to the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why, as she lay dying, she was thinking of you. Really? Ah, that's so cute. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However... Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. Wait, how, how would you know? What? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. Oh, okay. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. But I don't think that's what it was. Anyway... She was... uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? That is a good question. Why are you telling me all this, Kyoko? Is it because you care about me? Oh, close enough. Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. I mean, just look at, just look at the two in the background there. I forgot their names. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of forgot their names. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. Really now? No. I'm going to carry them with me the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon. Sayaka. I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. Really? Really now? So instead of forgetting them, you choose in the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. Do you now? As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Da. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Because I know you. Her eyes are kind of cute, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I like that shade of purple. Oh, well... Uh... I'm psychic. What? Huh? Kidding. I just have pretty good intuition. Oh, that seems like a pretty good bookend right there. Ah, memories of Sayaka, I tell you. Chapter 1, To Survive. The End. So we ended Chapter 1, like, right at the very end. And, we are, and three of them are currently dead. I forgot about Junko, by the way. To be continued! 
Did I literally just end, like, start the episode at the end of the chapter? The despair bat present. And yeah, we'll go ahead and save. Alright. So, start chapter two at night. Alright. Wait. Why is everything different now? Bed sheets are gray. Alright. No. Makoto, I'm gonna have to ask you to say something that's not, you know, dots. Go in the bathroom. Oh! It's clean. What? It's gone. She. She really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh-huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smiling faces is thanks enough for me. Who's smiling? After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. You know, neither can, you know, seeing freshly dead corpses, Monokuma. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's deaths. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream. But I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? I just realized it's nighttime and we're not in our dorms. Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go get you and drag you back here. Could've. S sorry. No, you're not. Hmm. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Wow. <laughs> hey, come on. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? That is a good question. Why would you say something like that, Taka? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. That makes sense. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. M Makoto. Um. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? Right. Indeed. If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it. So everyone, just try and cheer up and get back on track. I like Hina. Hina is <laughs> nice. Byakuya, on the other hand. <laughs> is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Huh? <laughs> we were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone can betray us at this point. I have a feeling you're going to be one of them. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... But, but if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. I like Hina's, like, optimism. That's one thing I like about Hina. Her optimism. Definitely her optimism. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. It'll be over here in the real world. I'll be over here in the real world. Excuse me. Working together. Fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Very simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever su suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. Wait, Hope's Peak never used to be like this? They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. Huh. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. 
Honestly. Everything has been planned down to this la the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then... Then, what are we supposed to do? That's a good question. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want, does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no. N no. Man, Chihiro's so, so wholesome. I can't what? do that, Chihiro. No what? No, sir! Damn it. Uh, I can't I don't take win. it. If it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Anyone else? Wait, hold up. Huh? Anyone else? I know, right? That threw me off, too, actually. It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. I see where you're going with this, Chihiro. But... But... but so, um... If we have voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. That look on your face, Hifumi. I, I have questions, sir. Hero, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Is it time? Is it time to go back to the rooms? Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other other thing it was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did see you see you don't see you see you that's about how much i can see you even when you try to hide now pay attention and remember this well the burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear so be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah! What, what was, was that about just n now? Will you stop stuttering? Honestly, your stuttering is annoying to read. Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? He's a Mo he's Monokuma. That's what he thinks he is. All right, let's go back to the um room, shall we? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates: Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. As we start chapter two, boy's life of despair. Daily life. All right. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he going to do to us this time? It's a good question, actually. We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. What? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. 
tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. <sighs> ah, doesn't this feel just great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're the one keeping us stuck inside. She does have a point. Although, I, I don't really like Toko. Um, she does prove a point here. She does have a point. You're the one keeping us here, Monokuma. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah Whoa, that sounded pretty cool right now, don't you think? D just now, don't you think? Not really, no. No. Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? No. No, not at so? all. So, why'd you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Yeah. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. What? <laughs> if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. I'm sorry, what? Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, the power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. Thank you. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here for some, just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Yes. Basically. Okay, so then... Hmm. Ah, I'd like... I'd like to make an announcement. Monokuma is the biggest bit. <laughs> Let's, let me stop. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What? What the heck? A whole new world? I, I forgot the lyrics. Like, I was going to start you going to guys? Aladdin, but I was like, wait. It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. Hey, wait. I resemble that remark. Or resent that remark, actually. Gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So go ahead. Look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he showed up. But... A new world? Could it be... Is he talking about a way to get outside? Yes! Hopefully. I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Yeah, basically. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look. I think you meant we won't know till we look, but eh, close enough. Hey! Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. Yeah, why not? You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? You're a one-trick pony. Got it! More like a staple food source. What? <laughs> Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Alright. Anything I can inspect in here? Nothing. Okay, so we don't have a choice but to leave the gym. Alright. So... Hey, Hero? What? What are you doing here? What the heck? Hey, Makoto. Did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. Wait, what are you talking? Yeah, what are you talking about? Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye is nothing. But this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. For serious. The stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. What? Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. <laughs> Let me Let out, me out here. here. Let me out. Oh, no. He's doing this again. Yeah, just leave him alone. Um... I keep pressing X. I have 83. Oh, yeah, because I end up getting some more uh, stuff. Let's inspect it a little bit. Inside the display case are trophies and other items. Winning championships and stuff probably came naturally to anyone going to school here. I uh, got the door and the monitor again. Uh, the door is just going to leave me out, isn't it? Yeah, the door is just going to leave me out. And, oh, it's going to lead me back to the gym. Uh... All right, let's go back out of the gym. All right, let's 
just leave the area. Yeah, yeah. Leave the leave the way. Okay. Let's see here. I keep pressing the wrong button. X leaves the map. Uh, there's uh, there's Mundo. Freaking X. There we go. There, I was wanting to talk to Mundo. Yo. I went and checked the metal hatch in the main hall just to be sure, but. Dude, shit. Just like I figured, it hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Hey, damn it. Hey. What? Don't make that face. You look like a pussy. You want me to put some fighting spirit in you? Well, do you? No, 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 Mondo, chill. Hold up, hold up. No, no thanks. I got enough for now. Okay. Yo. Well, okay. I'm going to look for another way out then. All right, cool. Bye. You tell me I look like a pussy? You look like a pussy. Let me go in this shop real quick. See what the... I should look around the school. Okay, I the shop doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. All right, anything here? All right, you don't want to see that. That's the that's where we went for the execution. So no. Um, hmm. I guess it's in the uh in the norms. No? Okay, so I can't I can't go out of the um thing. Let's go to 1B. No. 1A? Same message. Okay. I think I gotta find the stairs. What exactly is this anyway? Uh, can I Oh I can't actually. Uh, I can't, I can't see what this is. What is, is this where I need to go? No. Alright. Let's check the map. Wait, wait, wait. Stairs. Taka, did you find the stairs, sir? Got it! Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor is opened up. Oh, you hear me? But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in case. I already did. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. Okay. Fine. I'll just go up the stairs. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Well, let's find out. This is... The second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Like what? That's the bathroom. Uh okay, that leads to the third floor. There's a third floor. Uh wait. So wait, what? What is it? Oh, is that a library? curve around yeah the library let's go in the library who's in here I wouldn't be surprised if it was Toko oh well Toko is here yes there's Kyoko let's talk to Kyoko first Whew. it's remarkably dusty in here and the lighting is less than ideal for a library it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in hey Fumi what's up hey I'm absolutely shocked. How come? Damnation! They have all these books here and not one copy of any of my works. Wow. Well, this is a library, not a manga shop. <sighs> well, yeah. Why would they have comics in a library? Shut up. <laughs> Plus, most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. Wow. Shots fired, though. Holy crap. <laughs> you just don't get it. Not... At all. She doesn't, really. I do, too, get it. No, you don't. You don't know the work of an illustrator, ma'am. And well, with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Ooh, I hate Toko. I really do. <laughs> Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. You know nothing! Now hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than the rind that contains the meaty pulp of my genius. Okay. Here we go. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> You're just so full of it. 
<laughs> I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. <laughs> really worry me too. Let's talk to Bianca and then end the episode because we're at 25 minutes. Hmm. But still, this library is most interesting. Huh? What's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was th just thinking out loud. Uh, nope, you got. Nope, you spilled the beans, my dude. Tell me. Okay, don't tell me. I guess next time we'll do some exploring, explorating of the library. You see, you've got all this stuff here and stuff, and I'm scared my computer's gonna do a thing. Till next time, Hedgie out. Bye, yo.